Hey everyone, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another Ninjago video onto the channel today. Now, I know you may be asking what the hell is happening with your glasses. I have transition lenses, so, and I just went outside to take some pictures of my Christmas decoration so I could post them on Instagram, but we're not going to be talking about that. So, if you're wondering why they look darker than usual, that's why. But anyways, today, if you remember... Uh, ages and ages ago, I posted a video talking about my favorite suits from each ninja. Now, finally, I have the time to do the opposite video, which is the worst suits for each ninja. These suits are basically suits that I just don't think look that great on their respective ninja, whether it be due to the color scheme or due to designs. These is just my personal opinion, so please don't get angry at me. That out of the way, let's get started. First up, we have Cole. Cole has been has had a pretty good ratio with for, of good suits to bad suits. Well, this suit that I don't really think is that good. It's really a letdown compared to the other suits in this particular wave, and that is his fusion suit from Season 7. The reason why I chose this one out of all of them is mostly because the color scheme just doesn't really work that well. Like, I get the black. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the black is obvious. The brown is where it's a little bit weird because brown to me is not a color that suits uh, is a color that doesn't really work with a lot of other colors and that's just my opinion. But also because for some reason there's a weird they try to contrast the black with gray. I I know they couldn't do it with white because Zane already has white, so it wouldn't make sense for him to hit for cold have black and white. And while I do think that's understandable, I think the better color for this would have been orange. Because remember, Cole's favorite color is orange. Now, obviously, I think this was before that pre-established fact. But this was around the time where, you know, Cole had his weird arc with, you know, regaining his arms, the use of his arms, when he was human previously before being turned into a ghost. And... Um, the, the lighting and the shading of Hands of Time made it look very orange-like. I mean, it kind of still is very orange, but for some reason they tried, later seasons, trying to make it more yellow, which I think is not really a great move. I think it should have been kept orange. So I think, like, his ankles, because, like, his feet ha have, like, the, the weird gray thing, it should have been, like, orange instead of, um, gray. And if you want to keep the black, like, little toe aesthetic that a lot of the other ninja have, fine. But I feel like orange and black work way well, more well than gray and black. Plus, his chest is literally just filled with a bunch of rope, and I really don't like that. Now, I understand people are going to be pointing out, well, Zane had rope or leather, in his ZX suit. Why are you not complaining about that? Well, Zayn made it look good. Cole did not. Th That's just overall my opinion. This suit of Cole is kind of a letdown compared to the other fantastic suits of the Fusion Wave. And so it really, really lets Cole down here. Next up, we have Lloyd. And Lloyd has had a pretty good history with suits as well. I mean, there are some iffy ones, like his Season 11 suit, which, honestly, as I said, brown does not work. Um, it, so it If they were trying to match like his green eyes with his brown eyebrows, and I guess it works. There's also his Digi suit, which, again, the color contrast isn't really that great, as they use really not-so-great shades of green to do the contrast. But I think the worst contrast here is his scuba suit from Seabound. And that's really due to that they used an overly dark shade of green with a not so very light shade of green as well. And so it just looks more like vomit color, if I'm being honest. And it looks kind of gross on him, if I'm being honest. Plus the yellow, um, the yellow texture uh, where it showcases his his um, symbol 
also doesn't help since it's not a great shade of yellow either. So you just have bad color schemes all around with this suit. The design is fine. It's just the color schemes is not that good compared to some of his other suits. And it honestly just makes me wonder who who thought this these colors were great for this particular suit. I would have done something more on the lines of what his fusion suit did where the greens contrast were so awesome that they just look so pretty. This one just looks it just looks ugly to me. The yeah. The scuba suit color contrast just looks freaking ugly to me if I'm being honest. Next up we have Kai. Um and as I mentioned before with digi suits, unfortunately for Kai, I have to choose his digi suit from Prime Empire. Kai, I think, has probably one of the best overall records when it comes to suits. And his digi suit isn't even that bad. The problem with that is that it's just by far the least appealing out of all of his suits. And uh, it really sucks considering Kai is practically the master of suits. Because, again, like I said, he doesn't really have a bad one. It's just... The problem I really see with Kai's suit is that the color aesthetic, so similar with Lloyd's scuba suit, is not really the right color. Like, I think there's like one or two episodes of Prime Empire where the color scheme actually works. Um, I think the best episode I can think of is where they enter is the Cliffs of Hysteria, where it looks really good in that episode. But I feel like everything past that, it just doesn't really look all that great. And it just looks like a light shade of red, when honestly Kai looks way better with a sort of medium to dark shade of red, if I'm being honest. Like I mentioned with his fusion suit, which is honestly one of the best fusion suits out of that entire wave. It looks so awesome. It looks like light, really good shade of light red versus with a really good shade of dark red. This one, they took a really good... They put an alright shade of light red, and it was alright. It's not terrible, but it's not that appealing. It just isn't as appealing as, say, his fusion suit, or his tournament suit, or any of his previous Will Film suits. It just doesn't quite look that appealing. Speaking of Kai, now we talk about his sister, Nia. Now, I'm going to be making a video about this in the future, but Grey does not suit anyone. I mean, look at this. I'm wearing Grey right now. So, it it does not look good on me at all, and it definitely doesn't look good on Nia. And so, for her worst suit, I got to choose her Sons of Garmadon suit or her SOG suit, Resistance suit, from Sons of Garmadon. It just looks kind of ugly, if I'm being honest. Not only is gray the most boring color in existence, for some reason there's a skirt added to it? Are you trying to imply that we didn't know that Nia is a girl? We already know that. We already knew that Nia was a girl, so the skirt is just useless. And plus, Nia is the literally the last person who should be wearing a skirt, considering she doesn't really want, she wants to be independent. Isn't that a point of her character? And so I think a skirt would really, in a sense, demean her, if I'm being truthful. So, um, this suit really is by far the worst one of the SOG wave, because the SOG wave is pretty damn good when it comes to suits, but this was by far the worst one, because not only does it choose the worst color, but it also basically insults the fans by basically saying we they oh the skirt is gonna tell you she's a girl like we didn't already know that kind of like I, I mentioned in a previous video with zane's robotic filter we all we don't need to have that if we already know and honestly the color scheme would have worked if it was either a maroon red or a blue like her favorite color Next up, we have Jay, Nia's boyfriend, Yin Yang, whatever you want to say. And like Kai, Jay, I don't think has ever had a bad suit. And it's really going to come down to which one just looks the least appealing. 
And in that case of that, I have to go with his um, Destiny robe. No, was it? Is it called Destiny? No, I don't think. His adventurer, adventurer robes from Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitzu. And that's because, really, it looks more like a school uniform, if I'm being honest. Especially with the strap in the back. It really looks like a like you're carrying a backpack or a book bag to school. If you remember the double the double handle book bag. And if you had a slick one strap, you're just way too cool. Um, so, it just really looks more like a school uniform than something a ninja would wear. It just doesn't seem like there was all that thought put into it. The color scheme is all right. The design is all right. But I just feel like there should have been more effort put into Jay's suit. Because they put in quite a bit of effort with some of the other si adventurer suits. But for some reason, they didn't quite do the same with Jay's. And it's just kind of weird how his is by far like the least appealing. And finally, we have Zane. Now, similarly with Kai and Jay, I don't really think Zayn has ever really had a terrible suit. So, his was pretty tricky to talk about, considering his, a lot of his suits are pretty cool, or pretty good, for the most part. So, this was a real tricky, this was a real, real tricky um, one to figure out. But this answer might shock you, because I know a lot of people really like this suit. But for me, it's not a terrible suit. I like with, but like with Jay's, I just feel like there should have been put more effort into it, and I just don't feel like there was enough effort put into it. And that is his island suit from well, the island. And I real the reason I say that is because Kai and Jay's looks absolutely absolutely fantastic same thing with lloyd like their color schemes look really good same with zane's but the issue i have with that is that for some reason his entire a lot of his abs or at least his robot abs are exposed for some reason and that to me is more distracting than anything else and it's almost like the team did not put enough effort like I said before, the frickin' phone so rudely interrupted me. Um, Zane's, I don't know why they chose to have a lot of his side exposed like that. Like, I get that Pixel did something similar when she was first introduced and rebooted, but, like, you didn't have to go all there. And it seems like there wasn't enough effort put into that suit. Like, why not have him covered the entire way? And besides, if you're worried about him, like, overheating because of the jungle, let it remind you, he's a robot. He can't really overheat unless... <clears throat> unless he's, like, in hot lava or something, then you don't need to worry about a thing. So, even if the argument was made that, oh, it's because we're worried about his temperature, then that's not even a good argument, because... Unless he's, like, literally boiling alive, then the temperature is not really an argument considering he's a robot. So, I don't know. I just have no idea what they were thinking by exposing a lot of his side with this suit. I mean, I understand how some fans, especially some, some Zane fans, might find it kind of handsome of Zane, but... If you're looking at it from a student aesthetic, it just looks kind of lazy to expose a lot of it. It just doesn't feel complete, you know, compared to s some suits like Kai, Lloyd, or Jay's, where it was just, you know, all, it was all, they had all everything. Everything was covered up, where Zane, you're allowed to show as much chess as you can. I don't know. Um, but anyways, that is going to be it for my worst suits of each ninja video. What are your worst suits for each and every single ninja? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. And click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye!